Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time and today I've teamed up with my friends YG Wigs to bring you this beautiful 13 by 6 HD natural wave lace wig. We're going to be doing a easy beginner friendly install as well as a style. We'll be using a wand curler for the style and it's super easy for all of those who are beginner friendly. So if you're interested in getting the look, keep on watching. So here we are starting from the bottom. I'm looking crazy, no makeup in a bonnet, but I wanted to show you guys the inside construction of the cap. This is what it looks like and it also comes with the adjustable elastic band. I'm going to take it out for a little bit of extra comfort, but you are welcome to keep it in for a tighter fit. This is what it looks like on and I love the natural wave texture. I'm just trying it on for size and just seeing how I feel and just deciding what style I'd like to do. Here is a look at the wig from the back. For more details on like the dimensions and the density and all that, feel free to check the description box. Here's a close up of the hairline. And I do wanna mention that this one does go from 16 inches to 28 inches on their website. You can get this one in 150% density or 180. And then also you can get it with fake scalp, dark brown or light brown. You can even get it with the beige. So there are definitely options. Obviously for mine, I chose no fake scalp. I definitely love, love, love a close up of the hairline on this one. Absolutely beautiful and natural without any customizations at all. We are now just going in and cutting off the excess lace. If you want, you can definitely tweeze out the hairline a little bit more. I honestly didn't think we needed at all. Next step is going to be to apply the wig or bond it down. We're going with the even adhesive and I just applied a nice thin layer across the forehead. Let that get a little bit tacky and then applied the lace on top. Luckily, this lace does fit my head like a glove, so I didn't have to like hold it down. I literally sat it on top of the head and just used my rat tail comb to work it in. And it really was ready to go. I could have just let it air dry, but I did blow dry on a cool setting for a more like suctioned and like melted fit. Now we're going to rock the dynamic duo. You guys know I love to use my wax stick paired with the electric hot comb. This duo helps me to get a very, very nice, clean lace. It gives me a nice, sharp parting and just makes everything look salon quality. I do go in with a lot of heat passes, so feel free to use a heat protectant if this cringy for you. Also, if you are someone who just does not like using the electric hot comb on your head, you, this is a step you can do even before you cut the lace on a wig head. For me, I've been doing this for so long and I've gotten so much practice that like I still nick myself, but I am used to it. So here I am going to go ahead and tint the lace. I decided to use a foundation powder and once I applied it, I realized it may have been a little bit too light, but we've already committed so we got to follow through and I'm just going to do that on both sides. This here I believe was the Fenty foundation. As you can see, once I buffed it in, it kind of oxidized and it did look pretty good. It's still a white cast, but to settle that, I just went ahead with a darker uh, foundation powder and then I went on top and for me, it was perfect. I can go in and definitely um, use a darker situation but I will have something better in the description box and then I used a concealer to conceal the parting now let's go ahead and do our wand curls the wig is installed and the hair is beautiful so if you just want to add a little bit of water or like even just a little bit of oil sheen you can definitely wear this hair in its natural state it gives like a natural loose vibe but definitely beautiful nonetheless I went ahead and put the wand curler I believe this goes to 410 as the highest setting but it's definitely enough after each time I curl I kind of hold it there for a few, a few seconds and then once I release I kind of hold the curl in my hand and let it cool applying a little bit of my shapers to pretty much add a little bit of hold because I still have to do my hair and cook dinner before you guys will get the outro which you guys will not see all of that weight but of course you know I cut the clips now we're on to our final curls and again I'm just adding a little holding spray just to make sure that everything holds love 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 the way these curls came out on the left is the natural hair and then on the right is it curled off camera I did 
the opposite side and I love how it turned out. I definitely let them set while I did my makeup off camera and now we are ready for the comb out. So I'm just using a shower comb to pretty much comb out the curls and kind of just form it and train the hair how I want it to go. Definitely has a nice body to it. Here's everything that was included in our packaging including that adjustable elastic band that we had. This here is a really nice melt belt. It looks like a Louis Vuitton Damier print. Super super nice and then they also gave you know the usual suspects. And this is the final look. Be sure to find a direct link to this wig in the description box. I feel so beautiful in this one. Got compliments at Sephora on this day. Absolutely gorgeous and the hairline is flawless. Definitely 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. And this is what it looks like from the back. Hope you guys are enjoying the new year and are already following through on all your resolutions. Thank you guys so much for watching and rocking with your girl even in the new year. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches!